Hello all, it's Shifty here, and welcome back to another one episode build. Today, we are hovering outside the alien planet, and that is for a little bit of inspiration, because we are going to be building an alien-style ship. This is for a mod I'm going to be creating, where we have encounters, and they're all kind of alien-themed. I don't know how I'm going to go about it. It is going to use the MES system. I don't know exactly what my plans are, and that is by design. So what I'm going to do is uh, start a little bit differently than I normally do. And I'm just going to start slapping down some blocks because um, this isn't normally how I build ships. And I think this will result in something different than I normally build. And maybe that will look uh, a little bit alien, you know. I'm definitely going to be um, asymmetrical. And I'm not sure if I'm going to have an interior yet because the interior all looks very human. Um, just because of the decorative blocks that we own. Um, yeah. So, just start doing things that just don't, don't make a lot of sense, right? Something like that. And then we want, uh, uh why not, like, way, way forwards, you yeah. know? Okay. This is going to be our ship shape. Roughly. Um, I might have to expand this out a little bit. But yeah, I was going to make that make sense. But you know what? The whole point is that it doesn't make sense. So I'm going to go with this. Perhaps we will bring this uh, back a little bit. Everything's kind of like teeing a little bit strangely. So we're going to go with uh, that as kind of our theme. Lots of T intersections everywhere there's an intersection. It's it's going to be some sort of weird T intersection. And that kind of makes me want to move this whole uh, thing over so that it's never more than a T. You know what I mean? So it's never uh, more than three things coming into any one junction point. So that is going to be the logic of, of this ship design. So there is some sort of organization, but it's not... Like, why? Why um, why always tease, you know? It's not a, a normal human thing to think about, I guess. So, that is successfully alien to me. Alright, now, we're also going to have to use a lot of, you know, all these blocks to me look very human. So, I'm going to try my best to make the ship look as alien as possible, which means I'm probably going to have to armor a lot of things um, and decorate here and there to kind of cover up the human feel of stuff now. The rusters shouldn't be terribly hard. We'll probably be using a lot of the DLC stuff because it kind of looks cool. Looks a little more sci-fi alien, you know? I think having uh, three forwards facing guns of some sort kind of at the tips of these is going to be interesting. So let's get those in. Uh, Railguns are like the most alien kind of thing, but I have a feeling a lot of people are going to be using railguns. I want to make this not the most desperate encounter <laughs> that you're going to have today. So we're going to just use these things. Kind of just orient them all a little bit strangely. And maybe even now I'll... Uh, Slap one there. It's got four. They're kind of like not in any sensical line. Maybe I'll actually put two over here. Nah, no, no, no. Let's just go with three. It's going to need a jump drive. I think back here is going to be a, a good place to, to put a jump drive. This ship is actually huge. I just realized how big this is. Uh, normally jump drives like take up a massive portion of my ship. But, uh, yeah, not this one. So, interesting. Actually, maybe we'll have a jump drive right in the front, and it will be kind of exposed. I have one, like, right there. What if I put a ring kind of around the jump drive? Let's make this our focal point for now, and then we can do some building here. I'm making this out of light armor. Perhaps we'll go through 
and change that at some point. But not right now. I really want to have a decent sun angle to work on the front of this. Eh, I think that's decent. We got some circular shape now. And we're going to use some beams. Beams are kind of a universally makes sense. So we don't want too much symmetry. In fact, we don't want any symmetry. Let's make this one longer. Like there's like there's some reason for that. There isn't, but that's the whole point. You're not supposed to identify reasons for things for it to really feel alien in my mind. Cool. Make these pointy, these tips. Just slightly. We'll make this one like a different kind of pointy. Everything I do is just to make it a little bit strange. We'll make that one like that. Alright. Decent looking front of the ship. We've got our like, warp portal there. This whole thing's going to need a paint job eventually. Um, this is supported now, so I'm going to swap this for some conveyor line. And to kind of hide what it is, we'll use this conveyor. And... Way. Maybe I should use the uh, pipes. Let's use the pipes. They're less structurally sound, but I feel that they're just more alien. Now, there's no reason for that one to be attached downwards. And that's exactly why we're doing it. Because there's no reason. And that's gonna be <laughs> that's gonna be something that's repeated throughout this build. If I'm putting something down that makes no sense. It's probably being put down because it makes no sense. I don't like it. <laughs> um, I think it looks dumb. But maybe it's just because I don't understand what these aliens are thinking. Let's, let's slap those down. I might use a lot of neon tubes. I might use not a lot of neon tubes. We'll kind of see where things go. They do have kind of a weird vibe to them. I never use them on any of my other ships. Alright, I like that. Gonna need some paint. For sure. Let's work on um, this little bit. I don't know why I'm bothering making this airtight, but I think I am gonna have some airtight interior. I need to make it uh, like really confusing and strange. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Future Shifty here. I just wanted to jump in and say that I kind of glossed over something fairly important right there. As you can see in the background, I placed down a large reactor and a large cargo container. That is because I'm making sure at this point that I'm going to have enough interior space for all of the large blocks that I need. It's really important in a build, um, especially one like this where I'm really just focusing on the exterior. It's important at some point to make sure that you are going to have enough interior space. I see a lot of people running into the problem where they build a nice ship and then they can't get it to function well because they can't stuff all the stuff they need inside the ship. So definitely always try to place some blocks in, some placeholders. Now I'm eventually not going to have a large reactor or a large cargo container. And I even put spaces in between them. I'm not going to use that space for that. I just wanted to make sure that if I choose to use those things, I am going to have enough room to put them in my ship. I think it's going to be the uh, the goal for that. Let's put a tank right here. I don't want to see any words on my stuff. So we'll put that side up. All right, I need now to continue this a little bit. Yeah, uh, we'll go here as well. Uh, maybe I make this whole drum kind of, uh, oh, you know what we'll do? We'll, uh, we'll change the shape when we get here. We'll make our transition right about, oh, I just, I don't know what I just placed. Make the transition right there to the inner looking drum. And we will change this slightly so that it fits a little bit 
differently. That's not bad. I'm going to put a big old thruster on the back, I just decided. A little conveyor junction in here. And we're going to put our big thruster. Now thrusters. I'm going to make this a hydrogen ship. Because I think it's not the most alien thing, but it's the most useful thing. And you know what? Maybe it is alien, because hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe, so why wouldn't they use it, right? It just makes sense. Uh, where are the tanks going to be? So that's going to be the main forward thruster. And I'm going to enclose that so that we can kind of disguise what it is. I think having a large forward thruster would be good. I think setting it in a weird spot like that is also kind of a cool idea. Um, we will only use small side thrusters because I want to kind of hide those fairly well. And I think right here is not a bad spot for some hydrogen tanks. It'll line up with that thruster nicely. I would use the industrial ones because they're nice and bulbous. But they have like ladders on them, which I'm not a big fan of. Maybe it's not the worst thing though. And we're going to add that little weird bit back in. We will make that the same as that so far. Uh, this arm off to the side. This is going to be oxygen farms. I might just put a couple of them, honestly. Uh, yeah, this would be an interesting uh, spot for some farms like that. Maybe, maybe just two of them. Spread out like so. Let's attach them on the sides and let's get some some tubes in underneath here. Okay. That's looking good. I think with a little bit of neon tube, we can make that look pretty interesting. A little neon tube running along the top this time instead of the side. And that'll be good for neon tubes in that section. I am not sure what to do in this next section though. Well, what I am sure about is that I want these two things to kind of merge together. So let's work on what we know we want before we try to start doing other crazy stuff. Hey, it's me again. I'm here to warn you that from basically here until I'm done shaping the ship, I jump around a lot. And that is something I do with pretty much all of my builds. I get to a certain point where I have the main body of the ship flushed out. And then when I'm adding details and finishing off different sections, if I'm not feeling inspired in a certain area, I will move to a different area. I don't ever try to force myself to build an area that I just I don't have great ideas for because your result is just not going to be good. And also that helps with making the ship look uniform from one side to the next. If you're building a really large ship and you spend hours on a small area and then move to a completely different area and spend hours there, those two areas are inevitably going to look pretty different, at least in my experience. It's hard to make them look like they belong together to smooth them together in the end. So if you kind of just do passes over the whole ship where you work on each section for a small period, it will make your ship look more uniform and look like it all belongs together. We've got the main cylinder done. I think we need to cover this up. That's going to be the next priority. Make sure that we actually can make this look somewhat alien. So what we're going to do is bring these out again and uh, we're going to just make the front be more asymmetrical pokey bits. There we go. Yeah, that feels decent. We need to reset our mirroring because I'm going to do a little bit of work over on this side and that is going to be pipes, 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 pipes. Uh, it's just a long tube for no reason, which fits the theme perfectly. All right, we need to do something about that thruster. I'm going to do something similar to what I did up front. 
definitely something similar, but not the same. Dang. This is like actually kind of cool. Kind of cool looking. I'm liking how this is turning out. It is weird, but I like it. I think I might just leave it like that and not covered anymore. All right, how do I want to attach this? Um, how exactly do I want to attach this? Now that I have uh, a rough idea of what I want it to look like. I think this needs to go. And I think this part needs to be angled in, like so. That makes for a more organic attachment, in my mind. That tube's kind of weird, but we're going to live with it. These things are very exposed. I'm going to change this right there to something else. Actually, just because this is on my hotbar, I'm going to use that. They kind of look like a continuation of the pipe, but they're uh, one PCU instead of 10 or 15 or whatever those pipes are. Yeah. Yep, that's what we're doing. I do like it. There we go. A little bit better sun angle. I think right here is going to be a good spot to put a turret. I'm going to have a few guns on this, this bad boy. Knew I had it on my hot bar somewhere. I'll oh, make that face backwards. Because uh, why not? Just kind of fits on top there a little bit better. Kind of wish the idle movement was default off, not default on. But that's what we have. So we're going to just ignore the weirdness cover that up yeah there's a turret why not hang out up there turret enjoy I actually think uh, right here would probably be a good spot for another so we're gonna add it that does look just fine actually we're gonna add a few tanks or something back here The other side, um, I actually meant to make like this, but I accidentally didn't. I'm going to just keep it. There'll be a reason. I don't know what the reason is, but that's how we're going to do that. All right, I need to figure out what the heck is going on with this little strut that's sticking out. I kind of have this one done. I'm happy with that. I could move it over one as well. Uh, I like where it is. Let's attach it. I want to attach it right here, kind of. So let's make that happen. Maybe this will attach uh, like really far over to the other side. I kind of like that idea. Like It's not actually attached to uh, the thing it's close to right here. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I like that. It's semi-nonsensical, which is what gets my approval. I just don't like this top attachment bit. It just doesn't feel right. It just does not feel right. So maybe we just get rid of it entirely. No longer need that. And I'm kind of happy about that. I think it looks better without it. We might add in uh, this instead. I do want to quickly change what's underneath here. I think we'll add some more thrusters down here. That'll be what we do to make this a bit different. Lots of oxygen generators for something that's uh, supposed to be alien, you know? Maybe. I don't really like this on top. Uh, it kind of makes sense up there, but I don't really like it up there. So I'm going to get rid of it. And instead, cover that up. Then I think I'm going to put one here. Face backwards. Just so that the base lines up better. That's really the main reason I'm having it face backwards. Yeah, so we have a Gatling on either side. Kind of in similar spots. Those tubes are a little excessive in my mind. I think I could add some more of uh, these. I think that would kind of tie together those, this tubular look that I'm going for. Just like that, yeah. 
So we gotta do some piping in here to kind of connect everything. This just kind of just goes in and it's weird. And everything in here is kind of a disaster. So we'll come inside and we will fix all this up. At this point, I decided I did want an interior to the ship. I stripped out everything that I had put in there and starting with functional blocks and conveyors, I made sure that everything was hooked up properly. Then it was just flushing out the inside, deciding what my aliens were gonna look like. I kind of decided on a sloth alien. So it has a lot of railings and bars and different things like that, that it would hang from, which I thought was kind of a cool concept. You can still walk around inside of it, but it feels very alien to me on the inside. I think I did a good job with that. After that, we just had some polishing around the outside, adding blocks here and there, and then a paint job, and we were done. Well, that is gonna be it for the paint job. I think it turned out really nice. Looks like a slightly beat up, worn down alien ship from who knows where. It's been out in space a long time. It's still running well, but it's seen slightly better days. That's what I was going for. I think I nailed it. I think it does look very alien. I think the glow does a good job of adding to that. It looks very good from all sides, in the light and in the dark. I really like the way it looks from this side. That looks, I don't know, I think that looks very alien. Uh, let me know in the comments if you if you think it does or doesn't. But as far as space engineer ships go, I think I I think I did a pretty decent job, pretty decent job. And uh, yes, it's sloths. Sloth aliens live on the inside. So we'll take one last look through the inside here. Uh, you can see there's lots of little handholds and everything for them to kind of climb around. Gravity is this direction with the handholds on top, so it's it's kind of weird. I decided to use these cryos because. Uh, the other ones look like they're very much human shaped and these are kind of generic cylinders so i thought they were more fitting um can't do much about the uh the lettering on everything tried to grind down a lot of stuff to kind of just get rid of that uh but yeah that's the inside one quick look more at the outside i did add a bunch of little like pipes here and there everything looks pretty good got our antenna going we on that side and this ship will be, by the time this video comes out, it'll be up on the workshop. Link for that will be down in the description and possibly in the comments. Either way, you should be able to find it if you want to take this out, add it to your world, explore it a little bit more, or uh, blow it up, blow up some aliens. That'd be kind of fun. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.